Hey everyone, it's Donald. I hope you're having a great day. I know I'm having a pretty good one. Uh, if you haven't seen, uh, I actually deactivated my Facebook, my Messenger, all that type of stuff. Uh, there's just a lot of stuff and a lot of drama and stress and all that kind of stuff just kind of going on. So I am trying to de-stress my life a little bit. So I'm sure a lot of you guys have probably been through that time where you just worked and worked and worked and finally like, hey, I got to figure this out. Like, and that's kind of where I'm at. I'm just being honest. Um, you know, I've been fixing people's freeze dryers a long, long time. Um, I got together doing it with somebody. And honestly, um, I felt like an employee. I didn't feel like a partner. I didn't feel like anything like that, right? So a lot of people always talk about, hey, there's no I in team. There's no I in together, however you want to put it. Um, and I've, I've tried embracing that throughout my career that I currently do and talking about whenever the team is doing something, we talk, I'd always mention we, 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 right? We are making stuff better. We are working on something. We are doing this. And I brought that up and, uh, I was told that, well, it's not we, it's I, uh, somebody else thought it was them and it's their brain and it's their whatever. And, you know, it really took, it really, um, it hurt my feelings when that was talked about. And, you know, I've been attacked multiple times on Facebook from many, many groups, um, many people about, hey, the fixes aren't permanent, all this other stuff. Today kind of hit it pretty hard. Um, and obviously we're not talking, right? I, I've, uh decided to totally step away. I don't want to be part of um, everything that was built over the last five, six months, whatever it was, um, because I want it to be we. I don't want it to be I. And that's really, you know, Angel, my wife and I, you know, every day I'd come home from work and just um, pack orders. I'd pack orders. I'd make sure they got over to shipping as fast as I could. We store all the parts, all this other stuff. And we've mentioned it multiple times that, you know, hey, like this is a lot of work. Um, and it's always mentioned, well, well, I can, I can do I can do something. Well, then it's always like, oh, I, I, I don't feel good or I don't do this or I can't do this or I'm traveling. And that's something that really over the last few months has really kind of um, got kind of on my last nerve. I'll be honest, is the traveling aspect of it um, is you know, oh, I got to do this. I got to do that. And, um, you know, I, I told somebody I wanted to take a break. I wanted to take a break from the online help and all that type of stuff. And it worked for about 12 hours, maybe. Uh, then I was needed for something. Uh, so I don't know if everybody knows this. I read all the log files and, you know, I, I wish during that time that I just said that, that I could say we can read log files. I offer to teach how to read log files. And if any of you guys need to know what we look at or what I look at or whatever, um, hey, um, reach out to me on here and I can, maybe I'll make a video on how to read some log files and what uh, is kind of looked at when we're looking for leaks and uh, where your machine's not running right. Maybe you need to do a wire bypass. None of this stuff's a secret, guys. Like it really just takes some time opening stuff up and trying to learn what is going on in those files. And those files can look crazy at times. And honestly, there's times where I'm just like, I, I don't even know, right? So I reach out to somebody uh, or a couple of people that I know and see if they might be able to help me. But uh, today, you know, I'm getting blamed for everything, for the business being dissolved. It is what it is. Uh, I just, I can't keep up guys. Like. I honestly, truly, I got bills to pay. I got a wife that, you know, needs me. I got kids and I've taken a lot of time away from doing what I need to do. And that's get to church more often. That's, you know, follow the line of God and try getting into my Bible more and everything like that and try making sure my marriage is where it really needs to be. And that's really, 
most of it is that right there actually is I need to focus on my family. I can't wait for a paycheck to slowly come in hopefully and I, I make some money even uh, this this job doesn't pay much. I, I, I take so much hate so much um, you know it, it, it was rough. It's, it's been rough since I started fixing freeze dryers. I deal with Harvest Right being upset with me, trying to figure that out, trying to honest, honestly make it even for them and even for me where, you know, we can all work together. Uh, myself, Dan, just couldn't figure it out. I messaged Dan, tried, re you know, I had some people actually reach out to me. It was like a week or so ago. And I messaged Dan and I said, hey, you know, I don't remember exactly what it was, right? Because I'm obviously recording on my phone, so I can't look it up. But, um, you know, hey, what can we do to actually try making this better where we can fix machines and get on the same page and all that stuff? And, you know, it went silent, you know, and somebody reached out to me, you know, during that time and was like, hey, I want to know about freeze dryers. I want to know about Blue Alpine. I want to know about Harvest Strike. And I want to know about Stay Fresh. And I told them, you know, my personal opinion. Uh, I haven't released the Blue Alpine um, video. Um, I have it made. Uh, however, I know that company like mortgaged their house or that's what I was told. And I would feel extremely bad if I release the video and they lose everything they've been working on. I'm not a fan of the machine. I'll just be straight up. I'm not. I'm not going to release the details right now, but there's just a lot of stuff that needs to be fixed and I'm not just a fan of it. Um, and that's pretty much what I said, you know, cleaning aspect and all that stuff has me major concerns on that. And then obviously we talked about the harvest right stuff that I've caught. I've been talking about for a long, long time. And then, you know, we talked about stay fresh and you know, that's still personally after all these months and months of having stay fresh, that's my number one machine. I currently have candy going right now. It's in my stay fresh. I don't have it in any other machine. Uh, but the question was asked, Donald, I see you have a lot of videos that you dish Harvest Ride or talk bad about Harvest Ride or whatever. Uh, if you had the opportunity, would you try fixing that relationship and try, you know, try helping them make that machine better? My answer was point blank. I've told you guys this over and over again. My answer was point blank, yes. And, you know, that's what that guy really wanted to hear. And, I didn't know that at the time, but that's what he told me. And, you know, you want to make sure it wasn't me just being on a, on a, on a rant of hate towards harvest, right? And that's not it at all. Like I am upset with how the machines run, how we still have vacuum leaks, how there's still software issues that are still going on this day. I am completely just upset about all that. I'll just be honest. Um, you guys should be getting machines out the door that work, man. I, I'm, I'm really saying we should have no problems with most of these machines. Most of the machines are something's not tightened down or like uh, no Freon or really low Freon in a machine and like software issues. And I'm, I'm frustrated for you guys. I'm frustrated as a whole because I can't even like, I can't even promote software that I know works for a machine because I got a cease and assist. I can't do anything when it comes to software to try helping people get up and running. And, you know, I mentioned that to Dan in my text is like, Hey, there's software that works. Let's get this out. But, um, silence, that's, that's what it was is silence. Um, so just honestly, you know, it's, it's been frustrating. I've been wanting to speak my mind on YouTube for a while. Um, and I kept getting also, uh, told, Hey, that's going to look bad. That's, that's going to look bad. Or, you know, everyone connects me to you and everything like that. And guess what? Like, I'm not connected to anybody. Like it's me, my wife and my kids. Like that's who, that's who my life is and God. Um, I don't hang out with many people. I, my circle of friends is very, very small. Um, I have my own personal political views as you see, like, uh, you know, but that's me. And I want you guys all to have your own political views or your own opinions about stuff. Like enjoy your free speech. I mean, that's why people join the military. That's why people do what they do 
is to make sure people have a chance for free speech and everything like that. Obviously, we don't want riots and everything else, but like people need to be able to speak their minds. And that's what people join the military for is to try making sure we have freedom, not only here, but everywhere else in the world. And so, yeah, so the, the last few months have been rough. Uh, I know you, if, if you guys have been really paying attention to my YouTube channel, um, there's not a lot been posted over the last couple of months. A lot of that just has to do with um, me trying to please other people that honestly, I need to worry about my wife, my kids, God. Um, so I'm going to focus on that. I'm going to get on here once in a while. I personally don't have Facebook. My wife does. Um, I'm sure she's going to watch some of the Facebook groups and kind of talk about, you know, how things change or whatever. You guys are welcome to reach out to me. Um, the best email is probably going to be hrrepairpro at gmail.com. I don't know what's going to happen to that old business email. Um, I'm really not planning on... I'm not planning on getting back into this. Honestly, I'm, I'm burnt out. Um, I have a trip to help somebody um, in about a week and a half. And, you know, that's probably my last real, like, my go-getter stuff. Uh, if you guys need help fixing freeze dryers, leave a message, right? A, a comment on here. Look through my videos. Like, look through the YouTube videos, okay? If you have... A vacuum leak, complete the Felix fix. If your machine just plain old isn't running like it should, like you have low vacuum supposedly, by the way, that's a fault in the software, um, the new software, uh, you might still have a vacuum leak, okay? Just take care of the Felix fix items and get that stuff done, okay? That really is a three eighths inch ball valve, some silicone, some Teflon tape, and Angel, what am I missing here? A ball valve, Teflon tape, silicone, and am I missing something else? That might be it. Um, the hoses, I can't promote a hose for you. I guys, I wish I could. Um, and I know that it's easy for people to try attacking me on hoses. Um, but honestly, I went through a bunch. I tested a bunch of companies and I did a bunch of like research on those hoses and I we bought them in bulk. Um, and then they were custom ordered actually. They were custom made hoses even. So right now, uh, I'll try doing some research, see if I can find some hoses that I can actually promote. I'll, I'll try spending a little bit of money and find hoses that are just off the shelf that work very, very well, right? It's all about the fitting size a quality hose that's going to hold vacuum. Uh, and maybe I'll try reaching out to some of these companies and see if they're willing to kind of support that aspect of it. Um, we recently released the Demister. Um, I'm, I've heard nothing but positive about that Demister. I'm sorry that I'm not going to support it. Um, I don't know what the other party is going to do. I told them they can do whatever they want. Um, I offered to take it over as a whole. They didn't want that. Um, and I just needed to separate myself, right? So uh, they didn't want that. Um, and honestly, yeah, I don't think I wanted to take it over as a whole anyway, just because of all the stress and I need to really try de-stress in my life. So one thing a lot of you guys don't know about me is uh, back in 2006 when I was in Iraq, I had a PT, I got diagnosed with PTSD after seeing some people get blown up and stuff. Um, and I got put on some meds and obviously I had pretty bad nightmares and stuff. Um, slowly my wife, obviously, and thank God, like a lot of that stuff calmed down. But last year we had a bear attack here in Alaska and I just so happened to be the first responder on scene. Um, I don't go out in the woods no more. I don't go fishing. I don't do the stuff that I like to do. Um, bears are scary. I mean, at the end of the day, like you don't know what wildlife is going to do. So I got diagnosed obviously with PTSD again, um, which if you guys aren't tracking, like 
it's easier to get it over and over again after the first time is what I've been told. And if you're a veteran or you're just anybody that got PTSD, like, I'm sorry. Like, it changes your life. And if you don't know what PTSD is, post-traumatic stress disorder. Uh, you have a stressful event and all that type of stuff. But it changes your life, right? Like, we used to go fishing on a normal basis. We used to just enjoy going out and doing stuff. And I haven't got to do that in over a year, the way that I used to do and the way that I want to do. And that was really a peaceful time for me to really hang out with my family, hang out with my kids. And that changes, it changes your life. I'm telling you, like, um, you know, just dealing with seeing dead people and seeing, you know, what can happen in life. You know, um, my buddy, um, and I'm just speaking my mind, guys. Like it's been a rough day. Uh, it's been a rough. It's been a rough few months. Uh, my buddy from the military, 37 years old, just died of a heart of some heart failure stuff. And I don't know the background of it, right? I don't know if he got a COVID shot. I don't know all that type of stuff. Um, but 37, and then you know, and Ryan Tadlock, man, may you rest in peace, bud. Like. For real, like, I hope your kids are good and your ex-wife and, um, man, um, I hope, I hope they have long lives and, uh, they remember you, bud. Um, but very next day, if you're a wrestling fan, I'm a wrestling fan. Um, you know, a lot of people like WWE and Bray Wyatt dies. You know, I think the guy was 36 years old. I'm 36. Um... Like, this stuff's 37-year-old friend, 36-year-old wrestler who is obviously in way better condition than I am physically and everything else, uh, passes away. And it makes you think about life. Like, life is short. I could die today. I could die tomorrow. I don't know when I'm going to die. And you guys need to look at that and think, when are you going to pass away what are you doing with your life right now like are you changing the world for the better or are you doing whatever you're doing right um my mom passed away a couple years ago just before covid 60 years old my mom died of, of breast cancer that uh, doctors told her six months before then they got it all out and they you know she was breast cancer free and everything else little this woman died of breast cancer throughout her body uh, because they failed to read scans correctly or whatever happened. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's a time where everyone just needs to really embrace your kids. If you got kids, if you have just close friends, embrace those friends. If you haven't talked to your mom in a long time, you know, give your mom a dang call. Like, um, embrace those people. Okay. Um, I do appreciate it. If you're still watching, I know I've been rambling, but I want people to realize that, hey, like, I'm sorry. If you feel that I gave up on you because I'm not helping fix freeze dryers, I'm not doing all that stuff, um, I'm sorry. Um, I got um, all the videos, I think, for the most part, that you guys are going to need. If there's a video that you guys see, that, hey, I'd like to see this, Donald. Leave a note in the comments. Um, I'll see what I can do. Um, as I said, this isn't my primary thing. I'll probably get on here. There's a lot of people that have, frankly, I feel like I've gained more friends than I have enemies. Um, you know, some lady reached out to my um, wife today that, hey, I um, saw Donald's not on Facebook anymore. Can you check on him or whatever? I don't know exactly what the conversation was she had, but, you know, she wanted to make sure that we could still, you know, talk once in a while and be friends. And honestly, it made me feel good. And it made me feel like I, I possibly did the right decision when I walked away from just everything going on. Um, I'm still going to do my DoorDash stuff because I got to pay bills at the end of the day. Um and you know i retire in two and a half years so the biggest thing for me is trying to make sure that my credit cards and my truck payment uh, i'm a dummy i got a nice truck um 
is just paid off hopefully before I retire so my wife and I can really um, focus on life and enjoying life and seeing each other. Um, but everyone, I appreciate you. I appreciate everything you've done for me and the kind words that I have had from many people. If I pissed you off or upset you, I'm sorry. Like, I have my way of doing business. I think for the most part, I do a very good job. Remember, there's no I in team. It's a we thing. It's not a me thing. It's a we thing. When you build something, build it for the community. Don't build it just for you. Build it for everybody. So I appreciate it. I hope you guys take care. Have a great day. Thank you to my wife, my kids, and, not, and most of all, thank you to God for everything that he does for each and every one of us. And uh, God bless you all.